Well, he won an Emmy for his iconic role as John Boy on The Waltons. And she is an award-winning actress from stage and screen. And now they're in town for what many critics are calling the best play mm -hmm. of the year. Please welcome Richard Thomas and Pamela Reed. <laughs> Okay. Thank right. you, thank you, thank you. And congratulations yeah. on the success of this show. Thank you. It's the a play. wonderful show, and we're thrilled to be bringing it to Chicago. Yeah, for the people that don't know about it yet and don't know about the Tony Award winning uh, play, tell us a little bit more about it. Uh oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's my cue. Thank you. Uh, it's about a family, Thanksgiving, uh, go to visit their daughter in a really, really awful apartment in Chinatown <laughs> that she just moved into and she's thrilled about. And, um, and his mother, who is suffering with dementia, and uh, it's a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> what could go wrong, huh? What could go, go wrong? <laughs> well, if you've ever had Thanksgiving with your family, you have yeah. a good idea. Well, I was yeah. going to ask <laughs> you sometimes pull from uh, personal experiences of Thanksgiving's gone wrong. Do you tap into that? Well, you know, the play is it, it uses the holiday as a, a which is a, a moment of celebration, right? as a pretext to just bring the family together, you know, so that everyone is coming together uh, to, to celebrate being family and all that. But in the course of the play, you know, everyone's individual and collective struggles are sort of, uh, you know, are aired. And it's really such a beautifully compassionate and empathetic play about family and about what it means to just be a human being. But it's Hilariously funny. It's well, I think the critics agree. The New York Times, New York Magazine, Chicago Tribune all called the humans the best play of the year in 2016. Right. That's a yeah. big endorsement. Yeah, you know that um there's you know, a lot of plays are traveling across the country right now, or I should say, um, entertainment traveling across the country. Uh, they're all musicals. This is the only play that's uh in uh, touring right now yeah. in the United States. So it's such a, we just finished the Kennedy Center and now we get to be in Chicago. Do you like it here? Yeah, well, I'm really excited to be in. When I was a little girl, because I was raised in Washington State, I'm Washington, D.C., and so when I was 12, we took the train. I remember from D.C. to Chicago overnight. It was such a big deal. And uh, I'm now two weeks here, so I'm all excited yeah. to get back to the and Art Institute. Yeah, And, and it's know. such a great theater town. I was yeah. here about 10 years ago with 12 Angry Men, and we had a wonderful, wonderful visit here. And, you know, it's a great audience for theater. The theaters are beautiful, and yeah. it's just... And you guys got to do some good eating while you're yeah. here. Where are yeah, you eating? Well. Yeah. I have a bag of food in the green room right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just went out and I'm like eating out of the bag. We, like, we eat I'm Thanksgiving so dinner eight here. times a week. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, a good boy. That food on stage it's, is like yes. boxed a, a potatoes. Of stuff it's, it's, it's salt <laughs> and salt. We'll send you to some good spots here yeah. in Chicago. Of course, we, we've seen you on stage. We've seen you on screen. We remember you from Kindergarten Cop, which is yeah. a great movie with Donald Schwarzenegger. Oh, of course, you as John Boy. What's it like for fans that still remember the Waltons in those days in such an iconic show? Well, as long as their eyesight hasn't failed yet, <laughs> I think it's fun, fun for them and fun for me. You know, I'm, I'm constantly astonished at the staying power of something like a television series that even now people will come up and talk about having watched the show on the laps of their grandparents and growing up and it was just an extraordinary thing yeah it used to be like i i've said this before but it used to be like you know i had a crush on you when i was a kid and it's like, <laughs> it like you know my mom had a crush on you <laughs> and now it's like you know i used to sit with my grandmother and watch the show <laughs> So, but it's it follow, It's a wonderful thing. I think it'd be, if it's a show you love doing and, and are proud of, which I am, then it's it's a good thing, you know. Yeah. So you don't. We get, all have something, right? It yeah. becomes yeah. a part of your childhood. We were exactly. on in the car on the way over. We were talking about my three sons and right. you know all of these shows that we grew up with, and they sort of become extended family. Yeah, absolutely. In that way, and we learned about.
about our parents and the depression through the Waltons sure. because my family was very poor growing up. My grandmother had 11 children and my wow. grandfather died early on. So she raised them as a single mother. So when the Waltons came on, it was like, hmm, yeah, you <laughs> yeah. know, the, all the family stories. And then, you know, and a lot of us in America, you know, have that in our families. I yeah. think that one of the things that we've heard from people after the show, after the, the, doing the humans in the evenings, uh, people will come up and say that how much they've seen their own family in the, in the, mm -hmm. in, in the people, all different kinds of people too. Yeah. You know, not just mm -hmm. the slice yeah. of humanity that these characters represent, but that it, he, this young playwright, Stephen Karam, has really tapped into something extraordinarily uh, universal for, and certainly an American experience, I think. Yeah, well, we would wish you well, but uh, well is already happening. Yeah, so congratulations. yeah. yeah. yeah I don't even know have, if you can do you better. You can't have too much well. Yeah, well, thank you, Richard and Pamela. All thank the best. You. Have a good time while you're thank here you. in Chicago. And guess thank what? You. One lucky member of this audience is going home with two tickets to opening night. Yeah.